Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn more about some features that you can have in the modules and fields. If you will go to the setup on the top right, and then you will click on modules and fields, you can see that you have your bunch of modules. But what if you don't want all those modules? Maybe you want to remove some of them. Let's say that I have here this S module, and I want to remove it. I can go here to the Organize Modules, I can scroll down, and I can uncheck this module. If I will click on Save, you will see that this module is no longer in my system. And let's go here to All Tabs, and you can see that the S module is no longer here. From the other side, in some cases, you would like to create new modules. Let's say that I have a new module that I want to create about a special event that I have. I can click on new module. I can give it a name. Let's call it ZO2023. On the top, it will be the plural name. So that will be, let's say, ZO Events 2023. And here it will be ZO Event. 2023. And now that you have the new module, you can basically drag and drop different fields, and then you can start updating and managing the module. Later on, I'm going to talk to you about when to create a new module, how to use people in modules, for example, leads, contacts, vendors, and so on. So we are going to talk about it in the future. And Try not to create modules until we are going to talk about it, because you're going to contaminate your system with lots of modules, and it's not going to work well for you. On the top, we have tab groups, and those will be the tabs that we discussed about, I think, in the second lesson or so. You can also have web tabs. So you can have here different links you can see that I have the ABR tutorial, tutorials, and that will be one of those tabs here. Let's write ABR, you see tutorials, and if I click on it, it will take me to a different place. So the web tabs, you can add your different links to different things that you, you want to do. The global set is very interesting. So let's create here a new global set, we'll call it lead sources. And one will be website, another source will be, let's say, phone calls. If I go to the leads, and I go to a specific lead, I will have the lead source, where the lead came from. And let's search for it. You have your different values. Now, whenever this lead is going to be converted, the lead source is going to be pushed also to the opportunity. So if I will go to the opportunity, and I know that we didn't talk about conversion yet, but we are going to talk about it in the, in the future, you can see that you have also in the opportunity, you have the lead source, basically where the lead came from. So if the lead started from here, and the lead was converted into an opportunity, you do want to keep track on the lead source. The problem is that you will have a pick list on the leads, and the pick list on the opportunity, and they need to match. And most people forget to update them at the same time. Zo created this uh, beautiful feature, which is the global set, and let me go back to it. And the global set allows you to set one set for all of them. So in my case, I will go to the modules, I will go to the leads, I will go to the standard, I will go to the lead source, and I recommend you to do it by the way, to create one global set for the lead source. And if you click on the lead source and you click on the three dots, you can click on Edit Properties, and then you can select basically to change it 
to the lead source. So basically you change it to the global set to the one that you set. In my case, I already have a global set name source. Now, whenever you will do it, the system will need to match the existing sources that you have with the new sources that you set. So in my case, I have only two. So I need to, to select where that will go. So advertisement will go to the website, Twitter will go to website and so on. And when you do that, then you will have the set. Whenever I will finish on the leads, I will go now to the opportunities module, which looks exactly the same as you will see in a second. And here I will have I, the, the lead source and I will need to adjust the global set also to the lead source. And whenever you have all of them targeting to the same place, all the pick list options will be identical both in the lead and the opportunity. Next, I want to show you how to update those modules. So for every module or most of the modules, you can also rename. So in my case, the opportunities used to be the deals module, but I went to rename and that used to be deals. And here it says deal. And from deals and deal, I basically change it to opportunities. And when you rename it, then it will be basically applied on the system. So you can rename modules as you like. Uh, some modules you can't. As an example, if you want to rename the meetings module, you can't. So the meetings, I think also the calls and tasks, right? Yeah. So those three you cannot rename uh, because the system is using them in a certain way but most of them you can rename if you want, there is no problem with it. More options that you will have, uh, the layout we talked about it, the different fields we talked about it. You can also have module permissions. Basically, which role can access it? We didn't talk about permissions yet, it will be more advanced later on in the course, but just so you know that you can have specific people accessing specific modules. You can also have specific people accessing specific fields. So it can go even to the field level. Uh, duplicate share work forms. Lead conversion mapping, it's something that I want to touch. So the lead conversion mapping will be whenever you have a lead and you want to convert it into an opportunity, okay? Let's click here. And you want to convert it to an opportunity. The information is supposed to flow from the lead into the opportunity and from the lead into the contact. And if you have an account, into the account. And we'll talk about it later. I can tell you exactly how it works. You are able to control how this conversion works like. So if I will go now to the leads and I will go to lead conversion mapping, you can see that all the fields that you have here on the lead, all the fields that you have on the account level, which is the company, all the fields that you will have on the contact level and the opportunity. So whenever you have a lead and this lead is now being converted, this lead will be created as an account contact and opportunity. All those, the one lead is not existing anymore. This lead now became a contact, which is a person, a company, and also an opportunity that you want to work on. Here, for example, you can see that the field city from the lead will be copied to the billing city in the account into the city of the contact and nothing in the opportunity. The country from the lead will be copied to the country, billing country in the account and the country in the contact. And you can see that some fields will not be copied at all. So the follow-up reason 
is basically lost. Whenever I convert, this data is gone. You won't have it anymore. So it's important that you see that every piece of data that you are interested in is being copied to the contact account or the opportunity in the right way. Obviously, this is a test system. It's not being copied properly, but in your system, it's not a test system and you should copy it properly. And we have also the validation. We'll talk about all, all that later. Okay, so that's it for, for this lesson. Uh, please stop now and start work on your system. At that point, you should have your personal settings, emails, calendar, everything set up properly. You're supposed to have your modules and fields. Remove all the crap fields that you don't need. Arrange them in sections. Bottom line, your system needs to look very, very nice at that point. And then next lessons, we are going to dive into more stuff. So I want you to have a nice baseline by that point so we can touch on the cool things later on, okay? Thank you for watching the lesson. If you'd like to know more about us, we are Amazing Business Results. We are a Zoho Premium Partner and we offer a few services. One service will be Custom Zoho Development. That means that you're coming with your own business problems and we'll find the right Zoho solutions for your needs. We also develop extensions. Those extensions will be applications that we created that are plug and play to your Zoho system and each one of, of those extensions will solve a specific business problems for your needs. We are also a Ring Central reseller, which means we can sell you the Ring Central system, which is a phone and text message system. And because you're buying it from us, we'll give you the license to use our extension for free for one year.